Hello and welcome to episode 8 of our Ravel search and rescue vessel build. And if you watched last time, you'll have seen that we're up to putting some uh, the superstructure together up on the deck. And uh, if you haven't watched and you're a new subscriber or you're just coming to this video, I uh, recommend you hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications bell, and you'll get notified of uh, as the videos come out each week. And um, go back and watch the playlist, and you can go right from the unboxing and see everything right through up until where we're at now. And speaking of where we're at now, what you're looking at here is the windows put in. So... I've glued them in, I've clamped them in. I've just been a bit careful how to lift this up. So, yeah, so you can just see the reflection there in the windows. I'm just letting that glue dry. Uh, I've also painted the brown railing one coat. I'm going to do another coat yet because I want that to be a bit darker than it is. Uh, if I can get it around, you can have a look. There, yeah, see that strip along there? So that's been pounded, painted a wood brown. So I'm just going to leave that for another hour or so. And once those are dry, um, I'll be putting that on the deck because that's our next thing to do, which I'm looking forward to. And then I will go and paint these. As you would have seen in the last episode, these will go on the back here in in this section here so i'm going to paint them uh undercoat and paint that all white and then they can be fitted because that will be step 22 to fit those and uh yeah so let me get this done and we'll come back and have another look in a second back in a minute okay how are you all welcome back so i finished this it's all done uh see the railing there is painted that's all completely finished you got the reflection in the windows you might be able to see the glass is very clear there you go a bit of a reflection there happening um so that's all in place so what I also did was I painted those other pieces I told you about. So here they are here. Now, I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up, but let's try it. There we go. So you'll notice how white that is. So I want to thank people for commenting in the last video. One of the suggestions, because I asked in my video, I wasn't sure about these, um, whether to leave them um, the metal chrome or to paint them because they're air vents on this panel on this wall which will sit sort of here and um, got a couple of suggestions was one person suggested leaving them um, silver just as make a contrast to the white of everything else which I thought was a good idea and then but of course on the ship it's most likely to be white now, I've been through all the footage I can find, and I just can't see that wall in anywhere. So what I've decided is I've compromised, and you'll see that it is that grey, that colour. And that is actually just a light colour of my uh, white Mr. Hobby surface surfacer. So that's just the base surfacer coat. And I'm going to leave it like that. I'm not going to put... Uh, I'm not going to spray the white gloss on it. I'm going to leave it like that. I think that looks fine. These ones, you can see the difference. They've been painted white gloss. So they all blend in. That's fine. And these, these vents will sit here. And being just that slightly off color, I think they're going to look good. Sorry, I can't get that. The white is really contrasting. Maybe if I put it down. There we look. Yeah, so anyway, trying to get that to focus on that, show the true colour. There you go there. So I think that's going to look good. I'll leave them like that. Those are painted up now, so they're all done. 
I've just painted them, so I'm just protecting. I don't want any dust coming on there. I'm putting a bit of container over the top. I have a lot of problems with dust here. Um, this carpet right through the apartment and dust gets on everything that I paint. I really need to cover things more often. <laughs> so anyway, so also what I did, and I'll just bring this out, is while they were drying, I thought, well, I'll move on to the next step, which is this. So in the instructions, we'll have a quick look here. So that is ready to go on the deck of the ship, and I will do that pretty much now. There's the other part with the two side panels with that vent grill on it. Um, they can go on now as well. There's also another piece of glass that will go in behind that door. So I remember, have to remember to get that off and ready to put that on too. Then I moved down to here. Well, this was the piece we spoke about that's not used until, you know, weeks away. <laughs> but I will make that. So I moved on to the next one, which was this. 24, 25, 26 make up this winch. And um, I think I showed you in the last video uh, how much photo etch was involved with it. And there's the instructions with all the photo etch on those pieces. I've ticked them all off because I've cut them all off the fret and I've got them all prepared. And there they are there. So there's all our photo etch. Um, you'll find that there's some really tiny stuff there, like that one there. It's not dust, that's photo etch. Another one there. Actually, that's just, that is dust. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, so we've got all the photo etch to go on this piece. That's the base that it sits on. We've got these two pipes that go across connecting the two. And there's some photo etch for those and all this photo etch going on the wheel for the winch. Now, one thing I noticed with this, and I'm just checking now, I seem to be missing a part. Uh, let me just... Yeah. I'm actually miss, missing the actual whole reel itself. I seem to be missing this part. Don't know how I missed that. <laughs> Let's see. F87. All right. Let me just check the sprue and see if that's on there. One second. And yes, it is. <laughs> there it is there. I don't know how I missed that. Anyway, I'll take that off and add that to the collection of pieces. But uh, yeah, so there's the actual spindle that the rope's going to go on. It doesn't seem to be much on it either. Maybe we can add some to that. But anyway, so that's going to go on. Now, you'll notice here that the gold pieces, br uh, brass pieces of etch, are the original fret that come with the kit. But with the platinum edition and the extra photo etch, then that would be all this silver parts, all this part here. All the silver photo etch are all the extras that you wouldn't get if you didn't have the platinum edition of this build. So it's, it's nice, and I've looked at it, and it, it really makes the difference up. And I'm going to put all this together now, and um, and we'll see how it looks. Um, because there's some nice rivet detail on the photo etch, and you know it, it's quite it makes quite an improvement. There's handles there. There's a wheel. It was, it was a wheel. I'm sure it's there somewhere. Just oh no, there it is there. You can't see it. There it is. <laughs> Tiny. All right, so I'm going to glue all this together and put it all on, and um, we'll come back and have a look at that. We'll also come back, when we come back, We'll hopefully I'll have this on the deck. And, uh, yeah, progress happening. All right, we'll be back shortly. Okay, welcome back. So I thought I'd just show you this that I've put all together with all the all the photo etch. That's come up pretty good, eh? Get that to focus. There we go. All the photo etch through there. There you go. So I'm just going to go and um, put some uh, undercoat on this, 
and then paint it white and then do the iron bits. So those four bars on the back there, they need to be done in a steel color. And I think the center of this reel here has got to be black, but I'll check that. But uh, yeah, all came up quite good. Okay, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, welcome back. So here's a bit of a different angle. So I've got the superstructure down on the deck. It was a bit of a tight fit. It's not exactly square, but it's okay. Um, so I glued it down. I've got the old Stephen King novel, Insomnia, um, as my weight. And I will literally leave that overnight because I want that glue to be as hard and set as it can be. And then uh, that'll be ready to remove and then put on the um, the little door section that we did. I'll just show you. Those were... Uh, I don't know where they put them now. Where are they? Yeah, here they are. So we got these pieces in here. There they are. With the vents and the other wall. So that'll be the next thing to go in place um, once that book comes off and everything's stuck in place um, and we'll come back and have a look at that uh, in the meantime I've painted or I've undercoated the, that winch um, that I've made up with all the photo etch and uh, give it about an hour to dry and I'll go put the, um, the gloss white on that and there's a little bit of detail on there to do with um, a bit of uh, gum metal grey Oh, and I said gloss white, didn't I, when I think it's all green. Let me just check that one sec. So, yeah, I just checked that. So it's green, most of that winch. Um, there's two little pipes along the back that will be the metallic um, iron. And then we've got black, which is the um, cable, center of the cable. All right, so we'll back shortly when i got this book off, and we'll see how it looks back, back soon for a while overnight for me soon for you okay how are you all welcome back so as you can see i've removed my stephen king novel and this is all glued down very solid no problems at all um, and if i just position this when i fitted the um the next deck above now, if you remember, previously I showed you there was quite a gap, particularly on this side. Now that I've put it down in position, we'll just slide that up a little bit. So, there it is there. Now, there's still a gap on each side. It's even on each side. So, this deck here is green. But there's also, this is all going to be enclosed. There's another section of walls that have to be put on around here so this will be a very small area that you won't be able to see so what i will do is i'll fill that after i put it on and paint that green to match so you won't even notice the important thing is that this lines up at the top because i know that this is going back at the correct distance for what has to happen at the rear here and all the connections so I'm really happy with the result of that coming out like that. Uh, the gap, I'll, I'll fill that. That's no problem at all. So, yeah, there's a lot of work to be done on here too. I think I need to take that off. This uh, photo etch that needs to go on there and other bits and pieces, which that's a little bit away ahead yet. So, yeah, happy days. Now, I've also painted our winch that you saw. Um... I'll go grab that. I've just painted it about 10 minutes ago, but we'll go and have a... I'll go grab it. We'll have a quick look at it. We'll back in a sec. Okay, so there it is. Painted up green. It's come up really nice. Now, of course, I've got to paint the black rope in the center of the spindle there, so that'll all be... Um, yeah, I've got to paint that black. And also these two rods... On the back here, they have to be done a uh, metallic uh, iron. So I'll paint them, but this is still drying. So 
I'm going to leave that before I do that. But that, that came up really nice. Oh, and also there's a wheel on the back there, which it doesn't specify a color for, but I might either, I'm not sure if I'll leave it green or whether I might just make that um, uh, chrome as well. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how that, I'll make that decision later. <laughs> okay. So the next thing I can do is put these on. So these are the, the walls. There's the wall with the two doors. See it better there. It's a bit bright there. And that's going to go in here, here, and here where those spots are. So I haven't even tried this, but I'm sure it'll go on there. So that's going to stand in there. Yep, and then the two walls will go in there. So, happy with that. That's the next step. Um, so what I can do now is I can completely tick off 21. Now, I still got to grab, grab, I don't want to forget, I've got to take the um, glass window for that door off the sprue and, um, and put that on. So I'll make sure I remember to do that. I'll do that right now, actually. So once I've uh, glued those three pieces on, I can will tick off 22. This piece here, which I still haven't got around to doing yet, it's got bits of photo etch and stuff on it, and it's not used until way, way forward at 40-something. I'll do that uh, somewhere when I've got a bit of time between paint drying, I guess, would be the best time. Here's our winch that we've done that you just saw painted up. That's all done, so I'll be able to tick all of that off. And then we'll go down to 27, which is actually installing the winch and four of the stairs, including a couple of little panels that go, it looks like, on the back of the stairs in there as well. All right. So we'll come back and have a look as I do this. First, I'll put this these walls in here. We'll, we'll come back and have a look at that before I progress on to putting these on. Okay, and double check the photo etch in case I've missed something too, because that could happen. <laughs> All right, back in a sec. Okay, so another step done. I've put the wall in there with the door, put the glass behind the door. Um, I put the two panels in here with the air vents on them. You might just be able to see that in there. Um, and I also got these pieces that go under the stairs. Now, these are completely covered by the stairs. You can't see them at all. The instructions tell you to paint them the um, gloss white, but I'm not going to bother because, like I said, you can't see them. And the good thing, good thing I'm happy about this is that they fit absolutely perfectly. They're the right width. They fit in there in position just right, which means that I've got this the right width, so that's a good sign. <laughs> and then the stairs will glue onto that. And they're just sitting there at the moment. I haven't glued those in. Th these are glued in, though. You can see. So, yeah, very happy. So I won't be painting them because they're going to be completely covered. So that's that side and then the other side. Uh, right here is where that winch will go, which is still drying. I mean, it only took me a, a minute to glue that in, but this is going to sit in there, but I still need to detail this a bit too. I also found that there's a pipe, a little hole there, you see that little mark in the, on the deck there? So there's a large pipe that goes up through the roof into the section on top, and um, I will see how about, how I can go fitting that. Uh, I might have to put that in before I put the winch in, but I think I should, I think it'll be okay. I think I'll be able to work around this. Um, but this still needs, um, like I said, a bit of detailing and so forth. Okay, so uh, the next thing I will do is, well, I may as well glue those back, glue those in, and then uh, start uh, detailing on that winch. And uh, then we're pretty much putting the stairs in. So that's going to look good. All right, back again shortly. Okay, back again. So I've glued those on. That's all attached now. 
I've test fitted these stairs and uh, even though they go on next, I'm going to wait after, until after I put the floor down here because it's going to be a little bit of a tight fit where the floor comes into here. So I find that these will be, they'll go in position a lot better afterwards. So I'm going to leave those off. Um, what I have done now is I've done this. So I've done the black cable inside, I've done the the metal on the side there, I've done the wheel, I ended up doing that chrome as well, and uh, that's drying now, so uh, that is ready to go on there, which I will do next. Okay, and then that means uh, we'll start ticking more off. So step 22 is done, 24, 25, 26 is done, 27 will be done. Um, there's the other side stairs here have to go down uh, on the bottom here as well, which I have yet to check um, whether I put them on now or hold off on that as well, because I think there's a bit of work to be done above there as well. Um, yeah, there's a bit of work to be done up here. So it might hold off on them. Uh, yeah. So I will continue on and add a bit more. I'm pretty sure these will be fine uh, to go in position in here. Haven't even test fitted them before, but that's looking pretty good to me. So yeah, I'll probably glue them in place. So. Anyway, we'll come back when this is on and possibly those stairs are on and then I'll take a look at what needs to be done around there. Okay, back in a sec. Okay, hello, welcome back. Now, as you can see, I've put the winch in place and glued that in. I've glued these two staircases on either side. They're glued in place. See the other one there. And... Uh, of what I've decided to do is leave these off that go here and here because I want to wait until I've got this roof section complete so that I know I'm not going to have any fitting problems with that. So they'll get put aside in the, in the box with the other stairs that are used later on, which are in there. And um, we'll put them in there safely until I can use them. So we'll go back now. I'm going to move the boat um, because we don't need to access this for a while now. Just quickly looking at what I've got to do. So I'm going to put this, uh, out, of this out of the way and put some plastic over it just to protect it from dust and everything. And we'll come back and have a look at where we are on the instruction sheet. Okay, back shortly. Okay, so let's uh, get our and now I've already ticked them off anyway but so so the winch is done so that's all ticked off um, step 27 here um, the winch is in place on the deck these two are done they're on the deck here these two aren't yet so I won't tick them off um, because I'm going to come back and we'll put those on later I've still got to do these I keep saying that all the time um, it's just there's no rush because they're not used for another 20 steps in the build but I will get them I won't forget so over to 28 now oh and before we do that we'll go over to our photo etch instructions here so we figured out the, the stairs so they're all done that's all done uh, those ones were done Cross circle that, that circle that, that's all done. So at this stage from step one in the photo edge instructions, step two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine is all completed. And there's some more to do up here on step 10, which is nothing that we're up to on the instructions so it'll be one of those situations where we'll have to go hunting for what we got to do next and 
one of the things we have to do is putting the fences. So I say fences, I mean railings. <laughs> the railings have to go on the floor. I'm just joking, on the deck. All right. So there's our um, some railings there. There's a life buoy. There's looks like two of them are going to go on. Uh, there's a, another one of those uh, life raft containers which I think I may have already made that. I'm not sure. There's a couple of decals to go on that. No, it hasn't been made. So we'll, well, that needs to go on the deck there as well. This here referring back to 27. I don't know why. This is where it gets a little bit confusing. Um, because step 27 is completed. And this is probably it's probably telling you that oh this is on the ship <laughs> obviously, but all these will go down on the ship. Here I was saying, and I just put it aside. We wouldn't need it anyway. All those railings have to be taken off the sprue, painted. The life boys have to be done as well. And the decals have to be put on. So a lot of that will be done before putting it on uh, the actual deck there. Going over to step nine, uh, 29, gets a little bit more confusing. I'll just bring this down a bit. Or complicated, I should say. So this is the top deck area that we were showing you earlier. That's this. Okay. Now, on here, there's some piping that goes across. And I think it's pretty much to do with the fire hydrants and the water guns. There's a large pipe that runs across there, which is on the back of here and then there's some um, brackets to go on there's a few other little bits and pieces all to go on that and then there's a bigger pipe you see that one there that's the one i was concerned about gluing the winch in before putting that in but i've checked and there's plenty of room so that goes in there and then attaches through the roof of the deck there to that pipe so it's all part of the our water pickup system to get the water up to there so um yeah so <laughs> now that is simple enough but there's telling us here to take a couple of pieces of plastic off here and here so we don't want to forget to do that uh, this is all going to be painted the green the deck green but there's photo etch for this and a lot of photo etch so we come over to here, and we're into now, uh, I'm just checking, right, so this is part of it all here, it's not, it's not numbered, don't know why, oh, here we go, so part of it's here, so there's some colour-coded air spots here, right, so here's a piece that needs to be trimmed off, and that is this little raised a bit around here so i'll just uh trim that off and sand it you can see that there that comes off because it'll be replaced with uh some photo etch railing and this is the photo etch railing so the area in blue is the photo etch railing now this is it's like looking at a top down view with the lower section first so the blue is the railing then there's these photo etch legs that go under that pipe to do with the hydrants. And to get a better look at them, come over to here and you can see them there. There they are there. Okay. And there's the other side. Now, as you go on, you look at this and we go, it's like going up, up a level. And there's more photo etch to go on there and there which will be on here. There's some photo etch going in there and there. So all that needs to be fitted onto that. I need to check the colours. I don't know what colours they are yet. Um, and then on top of all of that, there's some other little uh, handles, some, uh, uh, what do you call them? Just handles for turning the pipes and getting the power water through. There's the actual water guns fitted there so they they'll go on and um yeah looks pretty simple-ish as for color be interesting to see what color that that area is 
So A is white. So we got white. Most of it I see here is all white. So that piping and everything, even the brackets under here are going to be painted white. Uh, there is a, a color C in there. I'm not sure. Let me have a quick look what C is. C is red. Fiery red. Okay, so there is a small little bit in there that's going to be red. That'll probably be hand painted on. Um, it's going to be tricky painting these white on the green deck because these have to be attached on the deck. We'll figure it out. Yeah, I'm thinking if it's possible, it would be best to build this whole piece up with all the photo etch on it and then lowering, lowering it all down onto the deck. If There it is there. So if I build all that up off the deck, paint it all white, <clears throat> and then touch up the red and anything else, and then lower it down onto the deck, which is already painted green, that would solve the problem. Um, otherwise, it would be pretty fiddly to try and mask up around that on the deck. So I'll try and avoid that. All right, so that's where I'm at. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is go by the order of the instructions. We'll do step 28. We'll do all these railings and bits on the deck where the winch is. Uh, I'll get them all painted up and ready. And, um, and we'll put them on and we'll see how that all looks. And I will promise I'll make this, make these two as well. <laughs> all right back shortly and we'll have a look at the progress okay hello welcome back so what you're looking at here are those two little life raft um, zodiac raft containers i think that's what they are um, and uh, i finally put them together and you see how small these are i've got uh, the little bands of photo etch around the side the straps which i had to sand off the original pieces um, there's a little um, piece on the top, photo etch. Um, so, yeah, they, they come up all right. Now, what I'm going to do is these have to be painted black. So pretty much I can show you from here up is black and from there down is white. Um, but if you look really careful here, there's these two little latches which go on the photo etch and they're, they're the sort of latching for the straps. And there are uh, the photo etch um, metal. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to paint these black as they're supposed to be, but I'm going to leave these and I'm going to glue those on and leave them silver because I've got a pretty good feeling that those things aren't going to be painted, otherwise they definitely wouldn't work. So I'm going to leave them chrome um, like they are and put them on the latches, which will sit pretty much right there. One will sit there and one will sit on the other side. This one's just been rolled over, that's all. You can see how small that is. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to go paint these up you know, and uh, and put those on and we'll have a look at where they're, when they're done. All right, I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back again. So what I'm doing is while that piece is drying, I've still got to, I've just done the prime coat, I've still got to paint it black and the white. So that'll take a bit of time. So in the meantime, I'm moving on to the deck here. Now, this is the next part of the instructions, I'm pretty sure. Just checking. Yes. Okay. So what I need to do is I need to take off this little ridge around here because it's been replaced um, with some photo etch. That's pretty easy to do. Now, the other thing is these edges have to be curved. They're not corners like that like sharp corners so what they've supplied us with here is this little well they call it a zig i guess it's more of a jig template so once these are off you just slide that into the position over the top and that gives you the angle of the corner that they you need to just sand sand that back so that that'll make that easy um, i've also you also notice here, I know it's fairly small, but there's some drill holes in there as well. So when it comes to drilling, 
there's a 0 0.3, 0 0.5, and 1 mil. You can see those, there they are. And then here you've got um, these little spots here, enabled, labeled 1 to 5, which I don't know what they're for yet, but um, I'm sure they'll be used for something. Yeah, must be some way of locating, uh, positioning things. But anyway, so what I'm going to do now is I'll just uh, cut that piece off there, tidy it up, and then using this, just sand the rounded corners on. Okay, back in a second, we'll, we'll see that part done. Okay, we're back again. As you can see, I've uh, take, taken that little ridge off. It's all nice and smooth now. I've rounded the edges using that little template. It took a few minutes. Um, so that's all done. And these instructions also tell me to take off these two little pieces here. So I'll just uh, nip those off. And uh, I think that one's all prepared then for um, all the bits that need to go on it. And... That involves all of that on 28 and 29. So quite a few bits and pieces to build up and get ready. And like I said here, all these pieces to be cut off the sprue and um, including the life boys and so forth. So I'll continue on with our painted little life raft canisters here. Um, I'll get those two done and we'll come back and have a look and see what, how they look. Okay, back in a sec. Okay, welcome back again. So here's our pieces. Uh, painted up the black. They've come up quite well. Now all I have to do is take off the masking tape on the bottom and then mask the bottom where the black is and spray the white on the bottom of them. But I've just sprayed them and they're still wet and I'm, I've got to leave them at least overnight before I go putting masking tape on there because if I try that too early, it'll just pull the paint off. So I will finish those later. Uh, in the meantime, um, oh, and just so you know where we're at, that's, that there is what we just finished. And that's it where it's going to be placed on the ship. So that's all done. Now, as you know, I've already done this, trimmed that piece off there, which was that. So that's all been done. And the curves on there are done. So it's all good. And now it's just a matter of moving on to, just get this out of the way. Um, these sections here, which all go on top of here. And as well as on the deck below, we've got some railings and stuff that you saw earlier. That is all going to be in the next episode, which will be episode nine. <laughs> um, but before we go, I just want to give a, a quick shout out to a couple of good mates of mine. And that is the Aussie Scale Modeler. That's Jason. And to Simon of Hibbo's Modeling Bench. Both of these guys are also Aussie Australian modelers and uh, definitely worth to go over there and take a look at their YouTube channel. I'll leave the link down in descriptions below. Um, help them get their subscribers up. I'm sure you'll enjoy their content. Um, great characters and uh, talented modelers. And uh, yeah, definitely worth going over there and have a look at. Um, these two guys are also with me on the Aussie Modelers Live that we have going every week. Um, so you may have already met them there. But uh, yeah, definitely a um, bit of a shout out to those guys to hop on over to their channel and, and take a look at some really good content. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, if you're just, you know, coming on to this for the first time, go back to the playlist you can watch this right through as we say as i said this is episode eight we'll be going on to episode nine next and um please give us a thumbs up and comment below your comments are welcome um i get lots of good comments and uh, i'd like to hear from you 
and uh, it's all part of the YouTube algorithms, more comments and more thumbs up and more interactivity I get with uh, the viewers, uh, the more this get YouTube puts my video out for more people to see. And uh, that's that's the whole idea of everything, eh? is to share it all with as many as I possibly can. And uh, I'm glad everyone's getting something out of this. I do know there's a couple of people out there that are building this ship, or at least have it ordered, and they're following along. And uh, I'm hoping I can be of help to um, for a few tips and things that I come across during the build. Um, that's the whole idea of this anyway. All right, so again, thank you very much, and uh, I'll see you all in the next episode nine. All right, bye for now. Stay well.